Okay, today is Monday, and you guys seen what I got done last night, and I'll show you guys what I did today. I've been out here for about an hour and a half, tinkering, not really any sort of thing set in mind, but uh, I did get some stuff done. So, let me show you guys. First of all, I looked up the DMV's regulations, and I'm required to have two brake lights, two corner lights, and two side markers. Um, the only thing I can't remember is if I need a third brake light on top. I think it just says two red lights on the trailer and two red lights on the truck, if I remember right. But anyways, I know I need these marker lights, so I took a little piece here of, I think this is eighth inch, uh, eighth by inch and a half, flat bar and I bent it. This was five inches. I bent it um, not quite in half. I wanted it to be a little taller here and then I just put in two screws and then uh, this just bolts on there. I think I'm going to add, I think I'm going to have to add a ground from here to the frame because normally these just ground out to the frame. Um, it has a hot but it needs a ground. So I got one of those on each corner and I, I made them come out pretty much all the way and they are just about flush. This one's a little bit out, but this other one here is pretty flush. So you can see that. Um, still have to press a couple screws in here, but so those are the marker lights. Uh, they might need to be adjusted once I get the canoe rack on there but we'll find out. I fixed the door. As you guys remember last night it was not closing all the way. It was catching on that bottom lip. Now I have a nice gap there and what I did was I undid this the back part of this um, hinge and I just scooched it over less than a quarter and now it works perfectly. So I also um, took the lock and got that going. So when I'm in transit, you know, she'll be locked up like so. The only thing I'm going to change is I want something a little bit, a little bit better for the tightness because this has a like it's hanging out. So I need to get something that's going to pull it in all the way. And whether that's just a block of wood that I spin or or whatever, but that's. One of the wants that I have. So, there is that. Works flawlessly now, it doesn't catch at all. I got a bit of 2 by and I made my bottom hinge support, so I got them both now. And then I did. I took my 2 by 2s and I put on my top 2 by 2 my little piece, my long piece, and another little piece. So now it is fully um, weatherproof, if you will. You can see how that works. Tiny gap. The middle one's really tight. Really tight, like barely any gap on either side. And the bottom one's pretty good too, so. Closes good, and it's good and stable. I screwed off the back, except for I gotta get one here, I just noticed. Because there's a little bit of a gap there. Got that. I got my interstate battery on the charger. I'm doing a trickle charge, two amp uh, charge. So we're gonna see. Hopefully it will take a decent charge. Those LED lights are supposed to be here today. They shipped yesterday, they're supposed to be here today. So they're like fast tracked or something ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I'm out, of, I'm out of my screws. I need to go and get more of these inch and three quarter screws. Um, I had like a one pound box and it was leftovers from another project. So I'm, I need quite a few of them. I got, still gotta do the roof and the other side. And then there'll be the odds and ends also that I need to get finished. But I'm really happy that I got this door figured out. Um, like I said, the only thing that I want is something that'll latch on that's gonna be tighter. And I don't know if 
since I adjusted the, the height, I don't know if this is going to still be lined up. And it's real dark in here, so I don't know. <laughs> not really digging that whole system that I have figured out here. I feel like it's not decent enough. I mean, I think I'm just catching a tiny bit, so I'm going to have to reconsider this lock and that bottom one. I, I like this one for the fact that you can lock it. I just want something else on here that you can click it because the more I think about it, if I'm hunting or something, I don't want to just always have the lock hanging on here. I want something else that you close and whether you spin it or whatever. I had uh, I had like one of those dog kennel type latch systems I was playing with, but it I don't know where it went, but um, that wouldn't work because it doesn't bolt up on here. So, yeah, I just need to get something else. And then once I get all the screws, I'll probably go get those tomorrow or the next day. Um, I'll work on getting these put on there. I need to get the screws, and I need to get two more marker lights. I thought I had four of them. I can only find two, so I need two more marker lights. I need to look up if I need a brake light on top, but I think I just need the two bottom brake lights. I don't know if it meant tailgate as I need um middle or something. I will have to do a little more research on it. Ouch. But yeah, that's uh that's what we got going on. So tonight at work I'm gonna ask around, see if anybody has a couple small windows or um if not I'm gonna try to see. I got some screen material, so maybe I can get some of those acrylic sheets and make uh, make my own frame with the acrylic sheet that'll slide and then I can put that in here and I'll just staple the uh, the uh, mesh or whatever you want to call it the screen staple the screen on and have the window slide over it or some some shenanigans we'll see we'll find out <laughs> but uh, yeah a piece of acrylic is like you know a couple bucks compared to a window so I have to be cost effective so far I'm in this thing like not a whole lot my fenders I'm gonna still use those tubs they don't look the greatest but for now I think they'll be okay and then I'm just gonna get mud flaps and bolt the rubber mud flaps to the back so that I get the the coverage on the top and then on the back as well so that'll be good and then one thing I thought of is I got a whole gallon well not a whole gallon but quite a bit here of this white exterior paint that I used on the house for the windows or for the doors and I can mix that up that's ultra lifetime warranty I think that's exterior exterior flat white I could put that on there um, I think I'm gonna get some filler though maybe fill some of this I don't know we'll see but uh, the only gap I'm worried about is this one I don't uh, not super happy with that so it's even down here but it's some it's the I don't know so I'm gonna need quite a piece of a corner deal on the back here and I just don't know if I have one big enough possibly so all right, that's uh, that's really all I got. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Things things are coming along, and uh, she's looking good. So, all right, talk to you later.